I am Monica Chiclana. I am one of the admissions counselors at San Luis University campus in Madrid. And I'm one of the representatives to get students to come to our campus in Spain, spe specifically. Our university, since our campus in Madrid is small, it's about 700 students, is like a continuation of high school without being high school. Everybody gets to know each other, professors know you personally, and you know them too. So it's very easy to get to know the teachers, and when you are not sure of what you want to study, I think this is an advantage because you have them there to ask any questions you have, any doubts, so they can help you and give you an orientation, a career orientation for your future. The admissions process is very standard. We ask for the, um, your entire college uh, grades. We ask also to have the SAT or ACT. Since we get students from all over the world, and especially from Europe, we take also any other like Abitur, International Baccalaureate, those kinds of tests that is from the country that you are studying. So in that respect, we look at everybody, and not only because of you getting to the school having a good test score, you have to have also a good GPA from high school. We also ask for a written essay for 500 words, and you have a personal interview with us once you get to, to the campus in Madrid. And we ask for letters of recommendation. They are not mandatory, but they do help many times to push your support your admission. Yeah, Madrid is a fun city to, sometimes too fun. <laughs> there are a lot of things to do. It's like the entry to the rest of Europe. It's very easy to get to London, Paris, Brussels, any city in, within an hour and a half to maximum four hours. So lots of students that want to go and visit the rest of Europe start in Madrid and then they move probably to other campuses or finish there. Also, for a lot of parents in Europe that do not want to send their children to the States because they're too young, it's a stepping stone. You're still in Europe, you're, doing, you're close to home, and they feel better in that way. If you're coming from the States, just start on time, because when you're coming to the European um, community, you need a student visa. And that many times is what holds an application, because you need to get all that paperwork to be able to study in Europe. If you are in Europe, there is no problem. Yes, you have a little extra time. You can even come and visit, because you're closer. So that's mainly the advice I would give.